welcome to today we will be discussing about crankshaft def- deflection how we will, how we will de- measure the crankshaft deflection and what are the, how we will take the reading and curve and all we will be discussing here there will be simple explanation for a basic understanding of the crankshaft deflection and all crankshaft deflection are taken consider as one section for a better understanding because there will be two crank web a crank pin and the two journal there will be two crank web two journal bearing and a crank pin if a straight length of shaft is supported at either end and is subjected to a center load okay if a straight length of shaft is supported at either end and is subjected to a center load then we can say the effect in shaft is upper material that is in compression and lower end tension so if a straight length of shaft is supported at either end and subject to a center load then shaft that is a upper material is in compression and lower end tension this effect is applicable to a section of crankshaft this effect is applicable to a section of crankshaft described above with bearings supporting the assembly at journals and the load point loading being affected by weight of piston and cutting rod assembly here described above is the with bearings supporting the assembly at journal means bearing supporting the assembly journals and point loading being affected by the weight of piston and cutting rod assembly that means bearing support the assembly at journal and point loading being affected by the weight of piston and cutting rod assembly when we ignore the other loads found operational currents such as combustion and centrifugal force okay the effect of crankcase on a effect of crankshaft here is what we are saying here we can say crank crank pin the load is applied in top there will be combustion bottom there will be tension it can be seen that this effect is to increase the distance between the webs at total top dead center and reduce the distance between bottom dead center in this figure we can see that the distance between the webs at total top dead center that is tdc is getting increased and in bdc it is reducing it come closer the deflection is normally found in all crankshaft although a smaller engines with very rigid cranks may be very small this kind of reduction de- deflection that means top dead center the distance between the top dead center can be increased seen to be increased and in the distance of the bottom dead center it can be re- seen to be reduced this deflection is normally found on all crankshaft but for small ranges this crankshaft are rigid in that it may be very small so we, we cannot see visually A set of measurements taken from engine will reveal the disc deflection which should be constant through each crank or piston unit. If we take a set of measurements from each engine then we will understand that deflection should be, should be constant through each crank or piston unit. Cavet to this increased deflection is seen at a flywheel and cam chain gear wheel session due to increasing loading. So a cavet to this crankcase deflection there will be increase in deflection can be seen at flywheel and cam chain gear wheel session due to increasing loading. the how to find the fault bits after initial installation and alignment a set of deflections are need to be taken these then forms a datum line to which other recordings are measured against okay after initial installation first time alignments and set deflections are taken and we will form a datum line to which other recordings are measured against a reference we will take it should be noted that changes in circumstances which will affect the deflections are not indicative of fault we need to understand that if the due to some circumstances Defle- there will be changes it will affect the deflections but they are not the indication of fault this include ambient temperature engine temperature that means vessel hull loading that means hogging and sagging etc then vessel afloat that means whether it's dry dock when again vessel hull loading can cause effects in dry dock due to moment of block stang etc these effects are well known and and an experience engineer will take into account this factor when looking at this set of recording so when taking this crankshaft deflection rule he he need to observe this and all he need to consider this effect as well as and he will take account of this factor when looking at a set of recording if a situation now occurs where a bearing becomes more worn than adjacent one the effect will be shown as a change of pattern of deflection if in a, in a situation where a bearing becomes more worn than adjacent ones then effect will be shown as a pattern there will be change in the pattern of deflection when the cranks is turned to bdc from bdc to tdc weight of running gear causes crank webs and crank pins to bend in such a manner that distance between the web decreases and continues to decrease until the bearing is no longer in contact with the journal yes when the 
And when a crank is turned from BDC to TDC, maybe the weight of running gear causes the crank web and pin to be bent in such a manner that distance between the web decreases. And this will continue to decrease until the bearing is no longer in contact with the journal. The deflection work when the crankshaft is approaching TDC will then go from normal positive reading to zero and then to negative readings, at which point the assembly is supporting the weight without assistance from the lowered main bearing. Okay, deflection when crankshaft is approaching TDC will then go from its normal positive reading to zero and then to negative reading, at which point assembly is supporting the weight without assistance from the lowered main bearing. Here we can say no weight on bearing, but it will make the uh, BDC the, the size will get reduced as severely low with the general bearing contacting the upper part of bearing. Thus, we can say any change from natural deflection can be related to the main bearing misalignment and is proportional to the difference in height of the bearing. Then we can say any change in the from any change from natural deflections can be related to the main bearing disalignment, misalignment, and is proportional to the height difference in height of bearing. Crankshaft deflection me measurement procedure. How their measurement is taken? These are generally taken using spring loader dial gauge. Crankshaft deflection measurement procedure are generally done using spring loader dial gauge. We can see there will be crank webs, there will be pin, crank pin and journals are there. We can see crank web, pin and journals can be said. This is between the two webs are we measure as D. Okay. The crank webs are punch mark to ensure that readings are to be taken the in the same place at every time. We can say crank webs there will be punch marking so that readings are taken in so the same place every time. Five measuring points are usually taken, that means TDC top dead center. 90 degree either side of TDC and 30 degree either side of BDC. Okay, that means five measuring points are taken. There will be TDC, 90 degree either side of TDC and 30 degree either side of BDC. The latter two measurements are required as it is not possible to measure BDC due to content load. The latter two measurements are required as it is not possible to measure the BDC due to content load. The measurements are always taken starting at the same point. We, we need to make sure that the measurements are always taken starting at the same starting point. In this case, we will say port side near BDC. We say port side near BDC. The gauge is fitted and zeroed. The gauge is fitted and zeroed. Rotate the engine continuously and reading, readings read of due notation. Rot rotate the engine continuously and readings are read of due notation. After the final reading, the engine is rotated back to start point. After the final reading taken, then engine will rotate back to the start point. If the reading is not zero, then it indicates that gauge is moved and readings need to be retaken. After the final reading, if the engine is rotated back to start point, and then if the reading is not zero, then it indicates that gauge is moved and readings need to be retaken. Okay, means the measurements are always taken from the same starting point. In this case, we say port state of the BDC. The gauge is fitted to fitted and zeroed, and rotate the engine continuously and readings read of during rotation. After the final reading, engine is rotated back to start point. If the reading is not zero, then it indicates that gauge is moved and we need to readings are need to be retaken. For example, crankshaft deflection reading example. Here we show a BMW 6K 76EF model engines. How the, they take a crankshaft deflection reading center. Here we can say there are six cylinders shown. Crankshaft, there are crank position of six cylinder port near BDC. That means we can say for beginning stage all will be zero. So all six cylinders will be zero. Then port said 6, 1, 7, minus 9, minus 4 and all TDC T standboard horizontal S stand, starboard near BDC Y. Character BDC that means X plus Y that means port near BDC and starboard near BDC that means they take a 30 degree either side of BDC. The by divider by 2 is character BDC and we will measure this crankshaft deflection reading sample that means crank position where there will be the port set near BDC, starboard set near BDC, port horizontal, starboard horizontal, then TDC. These are the five, five measurements that we used to take and then character BDC also. Vertical alignment means we will measure using T minus B that means top dead center T top dead center minus character BDC that means is the vertical alignment that also we will take then we, we will draw the crankshaft deflection curve from this reading we can draw a crankshaft deflection curve it will be like this almost and this figure now may be used to draw misalignment curve to one below and may be analyzed to see which bearings are need to adjustment and he is the assistance from the lowered main bearing in this crankshaft deflection curve, we, we can use to draw the misalignment curve similar to the one below and may be analyzed to see 
which bearings are in need of adjustment and assistance from the lowered main bearing. Here horizontal alignment can be shown. Horizontal alignment means port side minus starboard side will be we can say horizontal alignment and gauge reading check for that we can say top dead center plus the corrector, corrector BDC equal to crankshaft position and port side starboard side will be equal to D. The C and D should be practically same hence the reading from the number 6 cylinder may be suspect. Okay, like you, like you say, C and D should be practically same. Hence, the reading from the number six cylinder here, number number five, number six cylinder may be suspect. Okay, because here all twelve four number two, three, number three, number five almost similar, but number six, number seven there is a huge difference. So the C and D, so it should be practically same. Hence, the reading the number six cylinder, we, we can say there will be having a deflection and all. In this way, we will find the crankshaft deflection by taking the reading. And in the five direction and all. Thank you.